All right, what's up guys? This is gonna be the third video in the single turbo series here. So in the last video, I pretty much got the turbo mounted, did some grinding on the intake manifold and the coolant rail. Um, go watch that one, watch the first one. But in this one, I did make the, actually in the last one, I did make the turbo brace. That was already there, but I added a bunch of support to make it way more rigid than it was. I only had these two outside guides made in the first one and this this brace isn't going to stay here this is mainly just to put up on my mock-up motor as well as on this motor for test fitting and just to make sure everything fits properly so i added a bunch of supports here so it stays super rigid i mean the turbo is not going anywhere but it's exactly in place where it needs to be there's clearance on the firewall the turbo is perfectly level as well as straight so the turbo's in ideal position it's not going to move so i'm gonna do a couple more welds on the brace just to ensure it doesn't move i just put this last support on so it can't move front and back but i'm gonna do that i'm gonna get the support on this motor and then i also got the t4 flange i went and picked up that because i'm waiting on the ones in the mail so i just got this local which it's gonna work fine so it's the divided flange, and then this is the two inch schedule, which is gonna go in on each side, like so. But these are gonna get trimmed down and shaped so they'll clear the coolant rail. But I'm gonna start with shaving off these wiring harness tabs on the coolant rail. These right here. So I'm gonna take the take the coolant rail off, shave those, and that'll give me more clearance right here because it's it's pretty tight. When this turbo's so I'm gonna start with that. Get this Turbo brace is on this new motor. I'm just putting a couple couple nuts on this header that I had to steal earlier. But it fits identical to where it did in there. I marked it with Sharpie on the inside down there. It's kind of hard to see, but the fuel rail's on there for fitment purposes. Like I mentioned, he's not gonna keep this rail for very long and I had to bend it so it doesn't hit the hot or cold side, which that's a little bit close. You wouldn't really want that long term, if at all, because fuel less hot, not good. But it fits perfect. I'm happy that I made that because it's going to be worth it just so I don't have to work blindly in the car like I have in the past. So this turbo brace is going to be kind of a jig for my future kits, which will help a ton because now I know where the turbo will mount and I know that it fits and pretty much I just build right here and all I have to work around is the heater core hoses which I'm going to put on there as well. So once I get those on there I pretty much have a clear picture of where the piping needs to be routed so that's very clear now which also I have to do the wastegates which the wastegates will probably have to happen while it's in the car, just so it clears the subframe and axles and whatnot. But that's what it's looking like right now. And I'm gonna start kind of building the manifold finally. So stay tuned. I have both the collector pieces cut. They're identical. Can't hold both of them, but there they are. I took 10 degrees off this side flat and then 10 degrees off this side to keep the radius the same throughout. So you can see, it's hard to tell on camera, but this is like flat, so it wouldn't mate with a round surface. You'd have a, a different contour there. I mean, you could do it, but it isn't the same. So 
I cut that flat and then I cut this one with the with the contour so that'll make it back to 90 and they work really well I was able to save quite a bit of space by cutting it like that so it will sit right there and I have plenty of room away from the heater core hose and then I'll contour the inside of the flange like I had mentioned so it flows nicely and then I'll get everything welded and shaped nice but this is going completely flat if you're using the coolant rail as a reference but the manifold is coming along along great so I'm gonna get these tacked up I'm gonna start by shaping the T4 flange I'm gonna make an outline of the outside of this pipe I'm gonna bevel it out with the die grinder and from there I will start tacking stuff together I got the flange fully shaped as well as these pieces so this is all smooth and it should help a little bit with flow just kind of beveled out smoothed it so it's not just a straight piece of flat flange even though there's not not that much hanging over when it's actually fitted in there it should help tacked up it came out super nice which that's that's about perfect I mean you can't really do any better with the t4 divided flange obviously there's squares that you gotta you gotta work within so this goes up in here like so got clearance above each it fits fits great so I'm gonna get these welded, make some pieces that cover in the center. After I weld the gaps on the inside here, I'm gonna make little triangles that kinda go up in there. guys enjoyed the welding I got the t4 with the, the merge slash divided portions going into it on the motor now which came out super nice it's hard to see the actual weld detail while it's bolted on right here but it came out super nice I'll show you guys on the counter what it looks like so you can see the weld detail and I'll post a picture above here in a second but I'm gonna build this passenger side which I've pretty much got planned out already. This is a completely unmodified 90 degree bend, which I'm gonna put here, as well as this uh, flex bellow. So these are directional. Most people are like, oh, these are gonna fail and whatnot, but if you actually weld them properly in the correct orientation, they won't fail. 
because most people weld these things in accountants for bad fitment which if you have bad fitment and the bellow is welded stressed it's gonna crack so most people will weld it and account for bad fitment and pull it wonky to account for that so they can close a gap and that's what makes it crack so if you can weld it with perfect fitment they will not crack with a quality bellow and welded directionally from here I'm gonna get this flange off I'm going to get this tacked on as well as the bellow tacked to this and then I'll I'll get this last bend which this one I already had cut as a, a miscut for another piece so this is a 90 degree bend with 10 degrees cut off of this side which fits perfect right here after I have this stuff oriented. This is the passenger side, all mocked up. I'm probably gonna break this bend back off and just slightly adjust it. It's pretty much dead perfect as you can see, but there's uh, I wanna move it over just a, a little bit. So the piece of straight will fit exactly in there, but this gives me a pretty good idea of where it needs to be. And I need to brush the material before I weld it. Uh, that's probably about as far as I'm gonna go in this video in the next video I'll fully finish the up pipe get it fully welded start building a down pipe and Also got to do the wastegate dumps, which will go down under here But that's about it. So Go ahead like the video subscribe follow Instagram do whatever But hope you guys are enjoying the video series Keep watching.